Good evening Penchums, Flounder here with an update on the bespoke C-Ring tool project I've been dragging my heels on. Now today I'd like to cover the, the metal and plastic uh, dummy runs that I was attempting last time and um, also show the uh, one of the C-Rings that I've made for the eyedropper itself. Uh, so yeah, um, I think we'll start off with the metal one. And I do apologise for the photography being even worse than usual this time round. Um, I just wanted to show, you can see that there's no slop at all on the, the, the C-ring that I've cast for the metal one. And um, it obviously unscrews and screws on. I'll take it right off. And you can just about see the threads are, are quite well defined inside there. Um, going with metal first it's obviously made that a bit easier for me because it's very hard to damage them if you clamp and so on and so forth. Um, I will say that for all of the the C-rings that I've cast uh, using the the red rubber grease and the Teflon tape before applying the epoxy not a single one of them has resulted in the epoxy binding to the threads so I did feel that yeah it's probably safe so I just went ahead and did it for the eyedropper and it, it came away beautifully so um, anecdotal evidence of one but I do have to say I feel it's quite safe to attempt this ah threads next I suppose now this was the this was the deal breaker for me because um, it's a delicate material. It's uh, injection molded. There's a big ugly flash line across it, and the threads are very very shallow. So I thought, well, if it can do this, if it can take an impression of these teeth, it could probably do okay on the eyedropper. And it, it's done a fair job, I have to say. You can see that it's slightly bulky as um, it passes the, the, the flash lines on either side of the injection moulding but it works um, you can see that the epoxy stuff is also quite soft that's what you're uh, you're seeing in those threads there it's not chewing up the threads itself which again that's what I want that's it's a bit safer this, this way um, I do have high resolution photos of these I, th I just can't show them very well in a video I'm sorry but um, it's taken a fair impression of the threads on the inside as well. Okay, so moving on to uh, the million dollar question. Here's one of the C-rings I made for the eyedropper. Um, this one I have done the impression of the plier teeth as well. I've got a smooth one somewhere. But I, I think, you know, I have a hunch this is what I want to go for. Um, again, no slop if you pull it forwards and backwards there's no slop on those those threads I've got I've got another hundred it's basically those are rubber threads it's a hard rubber um, boss in there maybe I'm wrong but in any event it's not metal it's too fragile I feel to try and clamp it with something with rubber around it I wouldn't want to go for that so it, uh, it screws on and off okay I should really have wrapped Teflon around that shaft, although it's just a a shut off shaft. It's better practice to protect them. Okay, anyway, let's have a look at it. Alright, well this was a waste. Oh there, that's, that's not a bad angle. Um, it's, uh, the bottom line for me is this epoxy putty. It, it does take a fairly good impression of the threads and it can clamp nowhere near as well as brass um, maybe I can I can illustrate with one of these other ones it will crack um, with several uses I've, I can't give you an average maybe three or four uses but um, it works you know you can get an impression of the threads from something that you're not really going to find an off-the-shelf tool for Okay, well, uh, I suppose the next time I see you, it will uh, either with, be with this eyedropper safely taken apart or shattered into several pieces. So wish me luck, and I'll say cheeky bye for now. Bye bye.